Okay, now the question 9. Okay, question 9 is about the force elongation graph. Okay, force elongation graph. The, okay, but this one is an elongation force graph. Uh, okay, special. The elongation force graph, this is the, actually the um, E, E versus F graph. Uh, instead of F versus E, this is E versus F graph of a wire as shown in the figure above. Okay, so E versus F graph. Find the force constant of the wire. So force constant is the K. And also the strain energy in the wire means the U when the force is 50 Newton or 60 Newton. Okay, first of all, we start off with finding the force constant. Uh, we have the, this is the EF graph. EF graph. Um, is the EF graph. So to find the force constant, the uh, force constant is K. Force constant K is actually the gradient of Fe graph. Uh, gradient of Fe graph. That means um, K is uh, F over E. Uh, because why? Because uh, this one comes from what? It comes from F equal to Ke. Uh, so to find the K is F over E. Uh, so it's the gradient of Fe graph, but we don't have Fe graph, we have EF graph. So how? So very easy, very simple. This K just invert become 1 over K. So this whole thing, F over E become E over F. Isn't it? Uh, so now it become the gradient of E versus F graph. This is the gradient. This one become what? Become the gradient. Gradient of E versus F graph. Uh, just invert. Okay. Gradient of E versus F. So let's find out the gradient of E versus F. So to find the gradient, of course, we find the straight line. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can take can take the value of um, we can take uh, maybe this one. Uh, yeah, until here. Uh, this one is uh, 50 and this one is um, yeah one exponent yeah you see be careful ah this one is milli milli so milli change this one become exponent negative three meter change to si unit these are the things that you need to be be careful you understand exponent negative three uh, so uh, that you can find the gradient so it's one, uh, one exponent negative three. So let's take the value. Elongation one exponent negative three. Okay, milli. Yeah, we change to SI unit meter. Divide by the force of um, fifty newton. Okay, fifty newton. Uh, okay. So uh, and then. Uh, this is 1 over k. Uh, you get the answer for 1 over k. Uh, after that, don't forget you get the k. Don't forget to invert. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just uh, negative 1. You invert. Understand? Uh, you invert the k. Uh, so uh, after you get the value here, you uh, become uh, neg uh, power negative 1. That means you invert again. Uh, and then only you get the answer for k which is 5 exponent 4 wish you good luck to get this answer 5 exponent 4 um, newton per meter that's the unit for force constant okay that's a unit for force constant because you know force constant is uh, uh, is a force over elongation elongation is meter and also I changed from just now from millimeter to meter already. Uh, so I the final answer I should get in meter. So k is newton per meter. K, k is newton per meter. Okay. Uh, so remember, you calculate this. You need to invert it back uh, to become k. Instead of 1 over k, you get the k. Okay. That's the force constant. Now, I want to find the strain energy in the wire 
when the force is 50 newton or 60 newton now let's start off with 50 newton find the strain energy in the wire so what is actually strain energy uh, strain energy is u okay strain energy is area under force elongation graph uh, for area under force elongation graph so that means if you have a force elongation graph the u is actually area under the graph if it is a force elongation graph the strain energy is the uh, area under the force elongation graph but now you don't have the force elongation you have elongation versus force that means uh, the area also invert uh, the strain energy is this area uh, instead of below it become above understand uh, with the y-axis instead of x-axis so this is the strain energy this is the area this is the area we need to find so how to find this triangle okay so for the first one we are talking about 50 newton okay so for the first one we are talking about if the force is 50 newton what is the strain energy so we are taking which area yeah we are taking the 50 newton uh, that means uh, it's still a proportionality limit the limit of proportionality uh, so we want to find this area uh, this is the area we need from here to here uh, we want to find this area come on let's find out this area so how to find this area yeah this is the strain energy area okay uh, 50 newton so uh, this triangle we find the area of this triangle uh, elongation versus force graph so uh, half times 50 times 1 millimeter that's it so u is equal to half times um, times what times this um, 50 newton times 50 times uh, one exponent millimeter we need to change meter huh? exponent negative three so it's one millimeter so it's sorry one one millimeter so one uh, negative three meter uh, change to meter already so i calculate i get the answer strain energy 0 0.025 joule that's the answer it's a strain energy if the force is 50 newton okay 0 0.025 joule now what is the strain energy when the force is 60 newton uh, so for question two uh, the force increase to 60 newton what is the total energy total strain energy stored in the wire okay so now if increase some more to 60 newton just now is um just now is uh 50 newton over here okay i draw redraw here just now is 50 newton uh the energy u1 uh, i got u1 just now uh, this is the u1 this is the u1 so the u1 i got just now is 0 0.025 joule okay uh, from until 50 newton so the area covered is um this one is 0 0.025 joule now i need to find the extra area u2 because now i increase the force to 60 newton so i don't have this blue area i don't have this blue area so how to find this this is actually the trapezium you see that uh, i know it's a bit curved huh? it's a bit curved but if you look closely uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you can just treat it as a straight line you know it's a straight line uh, doesn't it's not so much harm yeah, of course it's just a straight line so this one become a trapezium uh, so now i need to find u2 i already got u1 now i need to find u2 so what is u2 u2 is the area of the trapezium area of the trapezium so use your trapezium formula half times what is the the length we have two sides which is parallel so it's a 50 plus 60 uh, this is 50 and this is 60 
So it is um, uh, 50 plus 60 uh, times, uh, how long is this? 0 0.5, 0 0.5 mm. Uh, change to SI unit. Yeah. Don't forget this is mm. You change to meter instead of millimeter. Change to meter. So how long is this? 0 0.5. Uh, this is only 0 0.5 mm, mm. So milli is negative 3. Uh, change to meter. Uh, so what's the U2, the area of trapezium I get? It is uh, 0 0.0275 joule. That's the U2. That's the U2. So what is the total energy when 60? Newton force. What's the total energy stored in the wire? It is U1 plus U2. Uh, so the total energy stored is U1 plus U2, which is equal to um, 0 0.025. Yeah, just now U1 uh, 50 Newton is uh, 0 0.025. Is it uh, 0 0.025? Now plus with this U2, the trapezium one. Uh, 275. So, what I get? What I get? I get 0 0.0525 Joule. That's the total energy stored. Total energy stored in the wire. Okay? Understand? Yeah, very simple, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, okay, this is the uh, Elongation force graph. So remember to find the force constant. Force constant is gradient of force elongation graph. Uh, but if you want to get the elongation force, you need to invert k become one over k. So this one becomes e over f, and then only become gradient of e f graph. And then if you want to find back the force constant, don't forget to revert back, inverse back. Then you only get this answer: force constant. And for strain energy is the area under the force elongation graph. Uh, so instead of this one, you get this one for elongation force graph. Okay. And sometimes you need to use trapezium formula. Okay. Uh, see you uh, for the, in the next question. Thank you.